Hello everyone. In this video, I am going to talk about how can we install Python, Miniconda, and Django on Windows 10. We have multiple steps to perform this process. The first one, you should go to Google and write something like download Miniconda for Windows. So you can download the Miniconda from its website. So at first, let's use Google Chrome for example, and write something like download Miniconda. Okay, so the first link as you can see here is the Miniconda, which is small part of the Conda framework. You can see here there is a Miniconda for Windows, Mac, and Linux. And here I'm going to talk about how can we download Miniconda for Windows. And as you can see also, there's Miniconda for Python 3.6 and another one for 2.7. I'm going to use this one and of course for Windows 64 bit. So let's start. Okay, so the download has completed. So let's go to the file which has been downloaded. And as you can see here, this file with the type exe, so double click on this file so you can install it on your PC. It is very uh, forward steps. Just click on next and I agree. Okay. It is just for me recommended. No problem. Now next and now let's install. Yes, now the download has been completed, so you can click on next. No need for learn now, and let's click on finish. Now the next step, just go to the start, and you are going to see here something called Anaconda prompt. So right click on the Anaconda prompt and click on run as administrator. Yes, it will take some time for the first time to start up. Okay, now how can we check if the Python has been installed correctly or not? Just write something like Python, click enter. Yes, let's try something like, for example, print hello. Okay, yes, good. Let's quiet. So this is the first step. Now, the Miniconda has been installed with Python on your PC. Now, the next step. After creating or downloading the Miniconda, now you should create something called virtual environment. So before we can install the Django framework, you should create virtual environment for the Conda using the following command. So this means create a virtual environment with the name Arden IT EMV. So let's try this one. Copy. Go here. Okay. And click enter. Okay. So here it will ask you if you need to create the environment or the virtual environment here in this path. Just select Y for yes and click enter. And as you can see here, this environment has been created. So now let's clear the screen. The third step, how can we activate this environment? So to activate your environment, just click something like activate and the name of your environment, which is Eden IT EMV. So here, and as you can see here, just try something like activate other IT environment. And here is the environment. Now everything is ready to install or to install the Django framework. So now how can we install the Django framework? It is very simple. Just like something like Conda install Django. So 
go here okay and press enter it will take some time to install the Django framework okay now it will ask you about the required package for the Django just select Y and press enter it will take some time to install all those yes so now it is ready Django has been downloaded on your PC now how can we check if everything is okay for Django let's for example create a folder here in the D partition and let's call this folder here as Django now let's go here go to the D partition and go to the Django folder now how can we create a project using the Django framework it is very simple just use this line Django admin start project and what's the name of your project so let's suppose that we are going to create a project called as an IT project so click enter and now when you go to D to the Django framework folder yes as you can see here we have a folder called add an IT project with all the required files for Django framework now let's the last step to check if the Django framework is work correctly so you can use this command python manage.py run server so at first let's go to adam it underscore project folder and then let's start using this command python manage.py run server and let's click enter yes as you can see here the web server has been started with this address okay so if you go to the browser and write something like 127.0.0.1 colon with port number 8000 and press enter yes as you can see here the Django welcome okay the installed work successfully okay so in this video we have talked about how can we install the miniconda with the Django framework for Python see you in the next video